che ruolo ha oggi l'immunoterapia nei trattamenti del tumore della mammella e quali saranno le sue prospettive future di impiego in questa neoplasia? Lo abbiamo chiesto a un esperto, il professor Peter Schmidt, che proprio su questo tema ha tenuto un'interessante relazione a Genova nel corso del convegno L'immunoterapia in pillole 2022, organizzato dall'Accademia Nazionale di Medicina e volto appunto a esaminare le attuali possibilità di utilizzo e i scenari futuri di impiego dell'immunoterapia nei tumori solidi. Professor Schmidt, when we talk about immunotherapy for breast cancer, we make reference to a specific type of breast cancer. Which one? Yeah, thank you very much. We, we, when we started developing the immune therapy, we initially focused on triple negative breast cancer, which is one of the three big subtypes of breast cancer. The reason for that is that triple negative breast cancer has a higher degree of genetic instability compared to ear positive breast cancer or HER2 positive breast cancer. And that's the reason why we initially focused on that, because we expected a higher a tumor mutational burden and therefore a higher rate of neuroantigens that would trigger uh, the, the effect of immune therapy. However, going forward, we will also expand our research in, 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 uh, around immune therapy into ear positive breast cancer and into HER2 positive breast cancer. As for other tumors, immunotherapy has been introduced in the therapeutic algorithm for triple negative breast cancer at first in a metastatic setting. Which results can be obtained using immunotherapy in metastatic triple negative breast cancer? When we developed triple, uh, when we developed immune therapy for triple negative breast cancer, we first started with single agent treatment studies and they showed us three important uh, results. One is there was single agent activity. The second is probably the most important one. We saw that the activity was highest in a first line setting but dropped in subsequent line setting. And the third is if patients respond, they, they do really well and immune therapy has a transformative benefit. Now, based on that results, the further development of immune therapy, and this is where the bulk of data are now, we're in the first line setting. And we use immune therapy in combination with chemotherapy as a first line therapy in patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. We have two large phase three trials that, that, that were both positive, one with atezolizumab, one with pembrolizumab, both showed a substantial improvement, significant improvement in progression-free survival, but also in overall survival with the addition of immune therapy to first-line chemotherapy. But most of the benefit was seen in patients with PD1 positive tumors. That's about 40% of the population. And so we can say now the role of immune therapy in metastatic triple negative breast cancer for now is in combination with chemotherapy, taxane-based or platinum-based, in a first-line setting in patients with PD1 positive tumors. PD1 positivity is defined by an assay called SP142 with a 1% cutoff, or a different assay called 22C3 with a cutoff of 10. A new revolution is upcoming. That is, when immunotherapy will be introduced also in the perioperative setting. First of all, What does the word perioperative mean? And second, which are the perspectives or views of immunotherapy in this setting? In triple negative breast cancer, we know that surgery alone is usually not enough to give patients optimal benefit in terms of curing them. That's why patients need systemic medical therapy, either before or after surgery, and that used to be just chemotherapy. In fact, in triple negative breast cancer, we commonly give chemotherapy prior to surgery, and, and we have learned that patients who respond really well to this preoperative chemotherapy, their cancer can go completely away, and those patients have a fantastic outlook. Now, we have incorporated immune therapy into these treatment strategies. We added pembrolizumab, immune checkpoint inhibitor, to preoperative or neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Patients received 12, they received six Uh, months of preoperative chemotherapy with or without immune therapy. And we saw two important results. One is the percentage of patients where the cancer has completely disappeared at the time of surgery is substantially increased. But more importantly, we also substantially improving long-term outcome. We're reducing recurrences by about 37%, met metastasis by about 39%, and this is likely to translate into survival benefit going forward. Now, these studies were done in patients with stage 2 or stage 3 untreated early triple negative breast cancer, and the combination of immune therapy and chemotherapy has just been approved and is becoming the new standard of care for these patients.